One of the first things you did as CEO of Subway was to revamp your management team. I understand 75% of them are now new hires. Were you trying to change the old way of doing things at Subway? What sort of corporate culture have you now put in place? When I got there, Subway, you know, a 50-year brand uh, created by a founder, basically, who was the iconic figure, made a lot of the decisions. Employees really weren't encouraged to take risk or make decisions. Uh, most of the employee base had been there for decades, so there wasn't a lot of experience from the outside. So one of the things I was determined to do was to create a culture that was much more risk-oriented, uh, much more empowered, uh, could make decisions on their own. I wanted experience from outside Subway, whether it was from within QSR or just franchising in general, no matter what the industry is. So yes, it was a very much of an intentional bring in as many new people as possible. Um, it was a bit of a bloated organization, so we slimmed it down dramatically and really just tried to create something that was much more agile, nimble, uh, and creative at the same time. Were people happy with the changes you were making? How did you handle the unhappiness that could have possibly come as a result? Obviously, initially, when you make massive changes like that, a few I'd say today only maybe 30% of the workforce was there previously, probably 70% of what's there now is new. But I, I know now when you go talk to the 30% of the people that were there for or have been there for a long time, they would say, wow, you know, we had no idea this brand could move this fast. The progress we made in the last couple of years, whether it's from sales or signing deals or growth or the amount of money we're making, uh, I think they're very enthused and excited. But it's a transformation like always. You are the company's first CEO in its 57-year history, not related to a founder. How would you describe your leadership and your management style? I'm a work hard, play hard. Fun is actually one of our, our four attributes are bold, make lots of decisions, fail fast. I encourage people to fail. That's, I mean, you, you don't do. want them to fail, but yeah, if you're not trying, uh, if you never fail, you're not trying. So I tell people there's no shame in, in failing, just go try. Uh, you want people to be empowered to make decisions on their own. Again, that's sort of that decentralization, pushing it out. But if you empower them, they have to be accountable. They have to say, hey, we screwed up, that didn't work. Uh, franchisees are out there depending their livelihoods, you know, riding on what we do. So you've got to be accountable to clean it up and say, we're going to go in a different direction. And then the fourth is have fun. What's been your biggest mistake? Um, at Subway? Oh, geez. Um, <laughs> I'm sure I must have made many. Um, probably initially going faster, you know, when you've been, in, to your point, a brand that's been around for 50 plus years yeah. run by an entrepreneur, you, you, I, I've used to lots of change. That's where I come from. Sometimes I think Maybe I went faster than, than the system was able to absorb it. And if I'd gone a little bit slower, might have gone down a little bit better, but I, I still stand behind the decisions we made. Maybe it was just the pace at which we went.